I was as much surprised at this as anybody, I guess. But uh, the Blu-ray's coming out, and uh, it just keeps going, you know. It just keeps keeps going. And it's a film I've always been sort of close to my heart. It's an eternal movie. It's going to be played over and over and over. Long after I'm dead and buried, they'll be showing Scarface. Oh, I haven't seen some of these people in a long time. Al, you know, we know each other. But I haven't seen Steven since we did the picture. I don't even know if he, you know, how he looks, what he's doing. It's great. It's really beautiful, and it's re and the sound is amazing. And then this thing comes with a with a documentary that is killer. Uh, it's the ultimate, you know, for fans or for people who love love the movie. I mean, to say I planned all this would be an absolute lie. You know? I made a gangster film of something that hadn't been done before about the Cuban element in the cocaine business. Yeah, I was a big fan of all things gangster. My last name is Manganiello, you know? It's part of your birthright watching gangster movies. I'm a big Al Pacino fan, a big Scarface fan, and for me to be performing here out of any of the other artists in the world that they could have chosen makes me feel great. So I'm just honored to be here. And I just took a picture with the great Al Pacino. I think that's, that's going up in the house, like on the mantle. I mean, I've taken pictures with a lot of people, but Scarface is one of those movies that everyone you know, in my entire family, every all my friends, this is like our in our top five movies of all time, definitely. Robert Loja, F. Murray Abraham, Stephen Bauer, Martin Bregman, Academy Award winner, Al Pacino. I do think that there's a divide, and it would be today. That's why I said I think if this movie opened next week and nobody had seen it. Same reaction. Because yeah, but... there's something in it that does, uh, it defies things. And there's something yeah. that is controversial in the very nature yeah. of it. You know who talks about it very interestingly is uh, the rappers and the hip hop guys yeah. talk about it in a video. And in a way that's uh, is the most articulate. And I went to LA and I saw Marty and the moment we met, he said, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> You're gonna do this film. You're gonna play this role. And I said, I, can't, I, mean, I, didn't, I haven't auditioned yet. And he said, just take my word for it. You're gonna play Manny. Are you really Cuban? I told her, don't, don't go to see this movie, Mama. And she doesn't like that language. And she said, Murray, I saw the movie. Can you tell Al not to use that language? <laughs> Another round of applause for our amazing panelists.